Yeah, hello. I've decided to make my own rolling rope because I don't want to use some material which is readily available. So this here is a normal um, 96 pipette tip holder, which you can find in. Of course, you could also use something else like um, um, just any other car, um, board wood will would do, and maybe also um, plywood or whatever. In addition, I've uh, purchased this little spinning wheels here. They come in quite handy. What else do I need? I need some uh, screws, uh, matching bolts. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's literally all I need. I'll put everything else I need for this later down in the descriptions. So the next thing I do, because I want to check whether this thing is actually... Right, and now the reason I do this, because I want to check whether it, um, this old engine here is actually running and obviously it needs something to, some repair, but I'd like to just put it on the roll and see whether it's rolling. It's better than just connecting the wires here, which obviously would also do the job, but it's just nicer to see how it accelerates and everything directly connected and yeah, also connected with your normal controllers. So when I look at the distance of the wheels in regards to the, um, the holes in this 96 plate, uh, I think I should be able to fix them uh, to to put them maybe um, one here, one here. Obviously this one doesn't need to be supported. One here and one here. And this should probably nicely do, do the job. So let's right, see. I've gone here a bit closer to uh, give an impression of where I will put the screws and to carry my wheels in. These are these little parts here and you see they have a central groove and they, um, these are non-isolating wheels, spinning wheels, which is very important. Otherwise, uh, uh, don't use isolating spinning wheels. Otherwise, they, uh, you, they will just not uh, conduct the electricity which you need um, for to test uh, the lock. Or, right, so let's put the lock a little bit away and uh, let's get it going. Step, I will take one of these wheels, put a thing on. Obviously, you could also add a little plate, which should pr probably be better. Now, I don't happen to have one by hand, and as I to me, but I would recommend to put an underlay thing there.
Now let's see how this um, fits onto the engine wheels. And it seems to just sit here. So either this one here or this one here is a bit, little bit of play, but this shouldn't make any difference. So let's tighten the screws. I will have to see whether I can fit these onto the loco. Let's see. So this one will go then here, and this one will then go here. And obviously, these can't touch the the middle pickups. I've checked this before; they're far away enough from the middle pickups, even if moving around, and they will not touch the body. Of the engine when in place so that's actually all pretty good and pretty neat to so see they're running quite well i had to tighten a few of the screws at the back certainly they now obviously the distance is 15 millimeters just to confirm here 15 16 millimeter about this is the distance which i want for my wheels I'll start 15 16 millimeters how much is this here uh, happens to be just just about between two holes so I shall put it here somewhere in, in the middle and I will do this with um, glue right I had some troubles with my glue gun it was a bit jammed so I put a lot of glue onto my glue gun go on the other side and so this will do then here On the other side, Just checking one last time. Absolutely, absolutely everything in line. Um, now the next thing we need to figure out is uh, um, how we can put something for the central feed in and I thought I can put here a little um, thing in the middle.
This can then now go down. On here, put some super glue down there. Put this down here. So it's in the middle. Move it a little bit further down. Oh, this here is. Great, throw it in. It's probably easier. Good. Now I figured out that <clears throat> the idea with soldering was uh, noble but not uh, feasible. Right, okay, now let's see whether this is working for my loco. So obviously this is a three rail Hornby. So I have to change the connections. Um, polarity doesn't matter. However, we have to put the red and the yellow wire together and the black wire separately. Now I put this loco, which I got secondhand, and I have no idea whether it's working, onto the machine. And let's see what's happening when I power it with 8 volt. Absolutely amazing. Works perfectly well. And maybe I will, for the sake of seeing how it works here, and let's see take it again down to see where it works As you can tell, I've built here this uh, testing road and um, it cost me about five quid in total. I'm sure you can even make it cheaper, but it gives you a nice uh, way of testing your um, machine without needing much of a layout. A little wobble here and um, see what's going on. And here she goes again. I think that's pretty exciting, beautiful sound, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.